I was specifically looking for an original car. And so to find a car like this, where I'm the third owner, the car had 25,000 miles when I bought it, that was a real, real special find. So I ran to buy the car. a Jaguar heritage certificate that included the name of the first owner and wrote a letter to the descendants and sure enough I got a phone call from the granddaughter of the first owner and family actually shared with me a very treasured family photo album that included William Loudon Fry's photos of when he owned her that I will treasure forever. I will never forget the day I got an email from one of the Fry grandchildren, and they had found their grandfather's Jaguar Club of North America Blue Club Blazer, and they had decided they wanted me to have it. What an honor. I have kept the uh, Hoyer chronograph that William Loudon Fry mounted onto the dash there. That's there in a place of honor, and I'll always keep that. Eventually, I think as he aged, he ended up having to sell the car. He sold it to a gentleman by the name of Melvin Desermo, Mel. Mel Desermo and I actually became good friends. I still remember a conversation with Mel. He and I were comparing notes on how quickly we'd driven. And I think Mel took the record. He had this car up to 130 miles an hour. I did have trouble in contemporary traffic driving the original Moss non-synchro gearbox. And we upgraded the transmission to a fully synchro gearbox out of a later 4.2 E-Type. The entire interior is completely original. The original leather, the original vinyl, everything is just as original. I did change the steering wheel. I went to a one inch diameter smaller wheel and then I had it leather wrapped. When I got the car, it was completely original. The engine only had 25,000 miles on it, but frankly, the engine was tired, a little low on compression, and it was probably time for a rebuild. Uh, we uh, upgraded the uh, air intake to uh, get a little more power out of the car as a result. The original radiator was tired, so we did upgrade the radiator. But other than that, the car is still a positive ground, original 3.8 liter straight six engine, just like it came out of the factory. lucky enough to live in a part of California where we have wonderful uh, back roads, windy back roads, views the coast all the way over to the ocean. It's a, it's a great area for a sports car like this, especially during the weekdays when the roads are less crowded. She's a blast to drive. I love taking her out to the coast, have lunch with a friend or with my wife out on the coast. It's, uh, it's a wonderful way to spend the day. In my opinion, as a classic car goes, this is uh, just enough modern that you can drive it and drive it hard in, in contemporary traffic. Um, Four-wheel independent suspension, 
disc brakes, plenty of power. She knocks your head back and she handles beautifully. The fact that I've been fortunate enough to form relationships with the descendants of the first owner, had a relationship with the second owner, and I'm the third owner, I, the, the provenance and the connection to these people matters. And as a result, the car is far more precious to me than just about any other car I own. This will be the last car to go because I treasure the car largely because of the connection with the people and the previous owners.